Uh, Nepal is second home to me. <laughs> yeah, it's 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 like a Kenya just extended far away. That's that's how I put it. Um, yeah, it's it's the first time I was a bit like of a culture shock at first because language barrier as well. Right? Because when mm. I arrived at first, it was um, I found it like I had my experience came out of the plane, went to the immigration mm. so i didn't know like you had to get like for for us when you need like a visa to when you're visa on arrival it's yeah. just on the same it's on the same counter mm. so i got there and i asked one of the security guys i said oh where is where do i get the visa and he just pointed me towards the counter excuse me uh, so i went to the counter and uh my What's it called? So the guy was like, "Oh no, you you need a visa." So he took my passport and went away with it. So he didn't even explain to me that I need to go back. <laughs> I need to go back and get a visa from the other counter from the back. All right. So I he took my passport and went away with it. So I was standing there for like quite a while, and someone the guy who came to pick me up is still waiting for me outside. So I waited for like a good thirty five minutes. You travel before... alone. Yeah, I traveled alone. Yeah. yeah. So t- 35 minutes, I was like, oh, where's my passport? So I asked to speak to the management. Mm. And uh, so they took me to the management and they started questioning me, like, do you know, like the way they interrogate you, like you're <laughs> running legal in a country. So they put me in this room and they were like, oh, questioning me. So where are you coming from? I said, I'm coming from the UK. And they said, have you got proof of address? So I gave them my proof of address. And when I was talking to them, my mod 90 fell from my passport. Yeah. And oh, he's Lowry, he's Lowry, just leave him. So they uh, just, so just left me. So I went back. <laughs> so this guy escorted me back. The guy with my passport, still holding my passport. I was like, I can have my passport back uh, so I can get the visa. I was like, no, come here, I'll show you where uh, the counter is. It's like I already know where the counter is because I've already spoke to there was because there was an Australian woman next to me, mm. uh, Esther, and she she directed me. <clears throat> so I went over and got my visa, and the guy just kept on following me. I think he wanted a bit of <laughs> yeah. <you know>. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he wanted a bit of paisa, so, mm. so I say, said, uh, "Oh, also I said I told him you know, I don't have any." Uh, rupees yet i can't give you any money i think I, like, nowadays it's trend like uh if they know you are from out countries they would be like asking for maybe dollar or maybe pounds you know yeah it's, <laughs> they, they do so yeah they do so they, they, they became clever now is it <laughs> yeah. is it same in kenya yeah, it's same in Kenya. Right? It's similar. It's like this. We are third world countries. Come on, we, this corruption is never gonna end, is it? All right. All right. <laughs> so we, we, so I went and so I managed to get out, and oh my god, I came out. I remember coming out of the airport, and do you know, as soon as you come out of the door, there's usually a row of people. I think they're waiting for for yeah. their people to come out. And everyone was staring at me. Eh? <laughs> everyone was just looking at me, and I was there pushing my suitcase. And I was like, "Oh, I was like, this is weird." <laughs> and I managed to find my friend, and oh, who came managed to, to take me back? Um, he's one of the guys from Two Four Six, I think, as well. Yeah, um, one big guy. Mm. Yeah. yeah, so. So, so what did you so, enjoy? What did you enjoy during your, you know, live in yeah, Nepal? Live in Nepal. Oh. It's just, I wonder, like, I'm a person of, like, I, I enjoy, like, I like to learn different cultures. So, But I'd already experienced that culture in, like, small hand in the UK. So I wanted to experience it first hand, like, in the actual country itself. So when it was... I wanted to try the the real proper Momo, like properly made Momo, not this frozen Momo we get here. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to try the like the proper stuff. 
Uh, food, the culture, yeah, it was good. It's good experience. Um, it's I didn't expect much because I've already seen quite a lot of it here in the UK. So mm. yeah, it was good. So that was uh, went for a trek to Manang. Um, oh. Yeah, that was quite emotional as well. <laughs> Altitude sickness and everything. So it yeah, happens. It's, it's good there. So um what else? The people, yeah, the people, friendly people. Very, very welcoming, yeah. Um you you went to LA like? to learn culture, eh? <laughs> yeah, you have you have of course you have to learn that as well, eh? You can't just learn the, the other bits as well. Yeah. Learn a little years. I need to know. How these guys actually party, you know? Party. <laughs> so I have to go to these clubs. I need to see what actually happens in there as well. So mm. that's part of culture as well. Culture, yeah. part of culture. Yeah. So uh, I was clubbing. It's similar to Kenya, or yeah, better. It's, it's similar, but too crowded. You can't even dance. Yeah. <laughs> I love to dance. I, you know me. I enjoy. I love. I love. Did dancing you go on like New Year's Eve? Um, yes, New Year's Eve in Tamil. Uh, right. uh, that's the first ever human traffic I've ever experienced. Yeah, <laughs> during New Year, it's like, oh my God. <laughs> yeah, we couldn't even walk. Like, we were lit- literally boxed in. And uh, I, can, I can remember we didn't even get to the club. I think we got in the club at around uh, three in the morning. We got in the club. That's and after one hour. <laughs> and then I think we stayed there for two hours and then we went back home. Uh, yeah, so it, it was quite a it was quite an experience though like the human traffic was atrocious though yeah. like the whole streets closed like no cars can go past there like it's just human beings it's, it's quite it's quite an experience <laughs> yeah uh, talk us about you know you uh, about people approaching you to take photo when you were tra- when you take <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Oh no! So yeah, so went to what is it called? What's on the board? Um, right. I went to I went to a restaurant. The, the first experience is when I went to a restaurant. It's a Takali restaurant, okay. and we had already finished eating. And this this guy was like, oh, "We need. Can you take a picture? Can you take a picture?" I was like, oh, okay. "We'll take a picture after I finish my dinner." So. Uh, so I managed to so finish my food, took a picture with him, and as soon as I took a picture, he other people started asking me for photos as well. So so like I said, come on, come on, come on, let's come go, on. like so let's do food photos. Yeah, so that's the first time, and then the second time was when we went to Lumbini as well, oh. and then the next. Then the other one was in Tamil. So Tamil was uh, the worst because everyone was like, oh, we should do a TikTok. We need to do this. We need to do this. You actually do TikTok. Oh, nice. Yeah. So you have got TikTok, to do TikTok as well? Yeah. No, I don't do TikTok. Oh, I don't do right, TikTok. Right. No, no, I don't do TikTok. So he, they were like, huh? it was a good opportunity to go viral. <laughs> Why? <laughs> I try to keep myself to myself. Even uh, you managing me to convince me to come on this, like it's. Uh, <laughs> I, I thought, I'll, I thought I'll, I'll support by it's all right. I'll support him. So I'll, yeah, I'll come on. Yeah. So, yeah, so yeah, yeah, carry on. Yeah, yeah it's good. So what was the uh, which place did you enjoy the most? Like which place did you like the most? Which place did you find most like captivating? Which place was for you like Nepal? Yeah, Pokhara. Really? Yes. Not Kathmandu. This thing about no. Kath- Kathmandu is too busy for me. It's too <laughs> like all the horns and bikes and uh, yeah. that's not for me. <laughs> Pokhara, Pokhara, like even even here in the UK, if if you like where where my house is, is it's in a mm. nice quiet area. It's I like I like small places, like quiet places. I'm not I'm not a big fan of big cities, to be honest. No. Hmm. Is the traffic similar in Kenya? Ours is improved now because the roads the roads are improved now, so it's it's quite it's controlled now. It's it's, it's not as no it's, it's not that much like Nepal. Oh my God, Nepal is really really. 
you can get a headache from that. <laughs> yeah, traffic, <laughs> traffic is. You need Amplovox. You need Amplovox <laughs> every time you <laughs> in, in uh, Kathmandu. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, Nepal. Good experience. Good people. Good culture. Yeah. Beautiful so, place. So, yeah. What What made you uh, like return to Nepal the second time? Because last time I didn't manage to achieve what I wanted to achieve because it's a short period of time. So I went back again. Oh, yeah. right. And I will always go back. And I will always go back again. <laughs> I think you made. Yeah. I think you you missed Elodie a lot. <laughs> nah. 